All right, this is uh, uh, with, uh, part two, uh, tension and steel. Uh, so we start at example 9.1 and uh, to continue uh, and uh, to uh, recap all the information that we've covered in chapter one, I think chapter, um, I think this example will be a good review for that. So now uh, let's read the problem statement first. And, uh, and an angle L five by five by, by half inch, they're talking about this angle here. I mean, you have two uh, legs angles equally the same five by five with uh, half inch thickness has a staggered bolt pattern. As shown in, in this figure here, the holes are for bolts of seven eight of an inch diameter determine the net area. So first, before uh, diving in, uh, through the, the, the solutions, let's understand uh, this shape here, this figure. So we have this angle here, five by five with half an inch with all the dimensions given. The three inch from the edge of the angle to the center of, of this bolt. And then you have the two inch from the center to the, to the edge. And the same goes here, but different dimensions. Now, why this is important? Because we need to identify the G value. The G value is the vertical distance uh, between those two bolts. So then to unfold this angle shape, we come up into this shape here. And as I said, it's a staggered, so we can see them, they are staggered. Now, if we have again, two forces, one force pulling in this direction and another force is pulling in that direction, we have two different scenarios of failures. The first failure could be through these two bolts. So the crack will start from the top all the way to the bottom, represented by A, B, D, and E. That's the first failure. The second failure is it goes through A, B, C, D, and E. So the crack will happen in this way. It goes this way, then it goes that way, then this way, then this way. Just to put things into perspective, let me grab my pen. So your first failure, it's, my pen works, it goes in this direction. This is one. And then your second one is it goes the same one from the top, but this is the second one. Sorry, this is the second one. So we have two failures. And for that, we have to, determine the net area for the first failure and the second failure and see which one controls. And then we say, this is our net area. So to go through the procedure, first we have to find the gross area. Uh, and the gross area for this example here is 4.79 uh, in square. Now, um, typically we find the uh, gross area from the appendices, from appendix, C for the steel, but for this particular example, we don't have angle five by, by five by half inch. So let's just assume we already have this value. Let's not worry about how we find the gross area first. And let's assume we have already the value there. And then the thickness is 0.5. We already got it from the given information. Now H is the hole size. How do we find it? It's D plus the bolt size diameter. How do we know? If I take you back to this particular knot here, the whole width is taking us one eighth of an inch greater than the bolt diameter. Do you guys remember from part one? So then if we proceed to the problem again, the whole, the, the diameter is a seven eighth of an inch plus one eighth of an inch to find the whole size, and that gives me one inch. Then for G, because it's a staggered, if I take you back from this example here, I mean, uh, this note says for an angles, for angles, the, the gauge for holes and the opposite legs, angle scenario is G equal G1 plus G2 minus 
<coughs> excuse me, the thickness. So then how do we find G1 and how do we find G2? Well, if you look at this, if I take you back again, look at G1, it's from the center of the hole to the edge. And then the G2, it's from the center again of the hole to the edge here again. So this is the edge of the center for, the, for this side versus the other side. So if you go to the problem again, um, from, from the center of the hole to the edge is the three. So that's our G1. And then for, from the center of this hole to the edge again is two. So that's our two here, that's G2. Then minus the thickness and that gives me 4.5 inches, which is the G. Now, let's work on the first scenario, rupture or failure. So this uh, section through line A, B, D, and E, which is the vertical one for two holes. Now, if we go, go through the vertical one, we have two holes. Then our equation will be the net area equal the gross area minus the summation of the uh, hole times the thickness, which is 4.79 minus two, right, times one, which is the hole times point five. Why is two? Because we have two holes, right? So here should be two. That's the two stands for. So that's the first failure. We find the net area from the first uh, failure mode. Now let's find the, the net area for the second uh, failure mode. And because it's a stagger area, we have to add the S squared over 4G. Where did we get this from? Well, if you remember from the previous slide, we said for a chain of holes in a zigzagging line, we add to those scenario this value. Now, if you look at this figure, we have one extra uh, hole. So then we added one. But in our example here, we have two, one and two extra. Then we're gonna have to multiply, we're gonna have to add two value, two uh, equations, two of those to the equation. And multiply by three, why? Because we have now three holes, one, two, three. So we have three holes. Here we multiply by two, because we have two holes. So again, the gross area minus three times the whole time the thickness plus S square over four G for B and C, which means this line here. And then S square over four G, then thickness for CD, which is this line here. Okay. Then now just a plug in chug, the, area of, uh, the gross area is 4.79 minus a three times one, right? One times the thickness, which is 0.5 plus two squared, that's your S. So the S is from the first hole to the nearest second one. And that's your two, this is the second closest one. So this is your S from here to here, and that's your S, right? So your S is two squared over four times 4.5. We find it already uh, here, that's the G. Times 0 .5, 0 0.5, which is the thickness and the same thing here. Then your area due to the second uh, uh, failure mode is 3.71. Now we have, in this scenario, we have two net area, 3.79 and 3.71. Which one controls? The smaller, why? Because this scenario would fail before this scenario, which means this control, so we to, to be conservative, we go by the smaller value. So this is how you find your net area from two mood of failures, one 
vertical through two holes. If, they, if the, the crack goes vertically all the way, or the second uh, mood failure is the, the, in this scenario, which is two. Okay, so let's stop here.